everybody, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Chelsea and I make videos mostly about Disney but a few veganism and lifestyle videos thrown in there as well. So if those interest you then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell to be notified every time that I upload a video. Okay, so today I'm going to be doing another video in my Moving to Disneyland Paris series, Becoming a Disney Performer, and today's video is going to be all about your first two weeks as a Disney cast member. So I'm just going to get straight into the video. I don't know if the days are always the same, but I arrived on Thursday and then we started on Friday. So yeah, moving in day for me was on Thursday and then Friday was Disney University. So what Disney University is, is it is all the Disney traditions, you might have heard of it being called Disney traditions, but it is basically where they talk you through everything about the Disney company. So they tell you about like who the CEO of the company is, what years all the parks opened. They tell you just like general history about Disney and like about Walt's dreams. You'll do some quizzes, you'll watch some videos and you'll learn about what's gonna happen throughout the next couple of weeks and where you're gonna need to go because the Disney Traditions is in, or it's near the shopping center Val Europe, so it's not actually in Disney. So you also get your staff ID on this day, so make sure that you look nice because that they're gonna take your picture on that day and that is the picture that is gonna be on your ID, so if you don't like it, tough. I think I looked like a mouse, but I mean, what better place to work if you look like a mouse in your picture? <laughs> Yeah, no, my picture was pretty terrible, but never mind, you know, I was working for Disney, I didn't really care, but I mean, everyone sees your staff ID, so try and look kind of presentable for your, for your picture, because you have to wear it around your neck, so people, people will see it. <laughs> you also get your name badge on this day, which is pretty exciting as well. So you also might be lucky and get a Disney Traditions pin, I know that in the past, the cast members haven't got the traditions pin, it is a new thing, so hopefully they'll carry on doing it and you'll get a little pin that looks like this, or maybe they'll change it, I don't know, but it might look something like this. It is the castle in Disneyland Paris and it says Disney traditions on it, I absolutely love it. And I'm a big fan of pins, so for me that was very exciting to get because I absolutely love pins. So after Disney traditions, I can't remember exactly what we did, was it on this night? I think there was a party and me and my formation went to the party. So yeah, you might get to go to a party if someone in your formation knows someone who already works there, then they can ask them if there's anything that's happening that day. But yeah, I mean, I would recommend just going out for dinner with your formation or something and getting to know them a bit more. We obviously got to know each other over pre-drinks, but I mean, you know, you can do it however you want. So then the next day was Saturday and we had the weekend off. So I think most of the time as a new cast member you will get the first couple of weekends off and that means that you can have your park days all together. So we all went into the park, well not all of us, some, some of our formation went to Paris because they'd never been before and then the rest of us we went to Disney for the first time which was really exciting and then on the Sunday I think we went into Paris. Monday is when you're gonna have your health and safety learning and just everything. So like your fire training, health and safety training. It's the boring day that needs to be done basically. Unfortunately, it's, it's not that exciting. So Tuesday to Friday is where it actually gets really exciting. This is your character training and yeah, you're gonna be learning everything there is to know about the job. So, I'm not going to go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil anything for you. But if you do have any specific questions, then feel free to message me over on Instagram and I am more than happy to answer them for you. So during this week as well, you should also get your rotor for the next three weeks, which is pretty exciting. Okay, so then the next week, it's not always the same, but for us, we had our doctor's like medical visit on the Monday. So you go over to the doctor's and you do some tests just to make sure that you're healthy and that you can do the job basically. So then if you have another character role then you will have your fittings during that week as well. And then on the Wednesday that was our first proper day of work in the park on our own without one of the trainers watching us. Very exciting 
and yeah, I got to hang out with King Louis on my first day. Okay, so if you are going to be friends with one of the princesses, then the training is going to be anywhere from like the next week up to like in a couple of weeks. So mine took about a month. So yeah, I mean, that was very exciting when it finally happened, but it doesn't happen in the first two weeks. It will take, it might just be one extra week. It might be three or four extra weeks. It just depends. Some people have been waiting a couple of months. I'm not going to lie, but it just depends on... I don't know what it depends on to be honest but it varies on how long you're gonna have to wait so I can't tell you that unfortunately. So if you want to join a gym I recommend doing this in the first couple of weeks as well. You, There is a gym in the mall Val Europe called Captonic and I can't remember what the joining fee is. I have a feeling it was like 80 euros maybe and it's 50 euros a month so it is a very expensive gym and honestly I wouldn't say it's worth it. It does have classes but they do get very full because they don't have a booking system so anyone can just turn up so sometimes they're not that busy, sometimes they were very busy that some people couldn't even join in in the class so you'd literally turn up at the gym and if you were a little bit later then you might not even be able to go in the class because it's full so I didn't really like that about the gym. The actual gym is pretty small as well so if it was busy then you'd wait quite a while for like machines to come available and I just didn't really like it. It does have a swimming pool and a sauna and steam room which is good but I mean I always say that I'm going to take advantage of those and then I go in it like once and then never go in it again. So I recommend if you do want to join a gym then maybe do the free week for Captonic. I didn't know that that was an option. I wish I had because I wouldn't have gone for it if I had but yeah definitely do like the free week so I think you can literally just go up as as long as you say that you're a Disney cast member and stuff then I think you get like a free trial I don't know if you can probably get it anyway but yes there is there is like a affiliation with Disney so you do actually get discount on this gym so I think normally it's supposed to be like 70 or 80 euros a month which is crazy because it's really not worth it there there's a few classes like every day but there's it's not enough to pay what it costs to be honest. I think even 50 euros is a lot and that's discounted. So I would recommend going to the gym that my friend went to. She went to one called Fitness Park and it's a little bit further away. I think it's about a 10 minute bus from the Val de Europe train station and I think I th I think it's a little bit bigger. I didn't actually ever go in there and I think it has a few classes. It doesn't have as many classes as Captonic, which is why I went for Captonic, but it turns out I hated the classes. Fitness Park doesn't have as many classes. I think it still has a few. And then it's quite a bit bigger, I think, as well. And it's only 20 euros a month with a 60 euro joining fee. So it's definitely so much cheaper. It is a little bit out of the way though, but to be honest, by the time you walk to Captonic, you may as well have just got the bus to the fitness parks. And then of course, I would also recommend going into the parks and then take a trip to Paris as well. But yeah, just basically enjoy your first couple of weeks, take advantage of your Disney passes and go in the parks. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's made you super excited to get started on your Disney Disney journey and yeah maybe I will see you there if we are both working there at the same time I am planning to go back to Disney at some point in the future so yeah maybe we'll get to work together so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you in my next video bye everyone